For decades, we've marveled at these large, majestic space vessels and their capabilities. But bigger is not always better, as technology shows us time and again. Could something this tiny represent the future of space exploration? So it will allow space-related research at a small fraction of the cost of the big satellites. You think, all right, are we going to be exploring space anymore? That actually is providing opportunities for more unmanned missions and for more organizations such as universities to get involved with space exploration. More and more, the science guiding space exploration is coming not just from our urban centers, but from our rural communities and schools, including here in Randolph, Vermont. Inside this lab, Carl Brandon's students are laying the foundation for Vermont's maiden space voyage. This is Vermont's first foray into really trying to do a spacecraft. According to our schedule, we'll be the first satellite launched created by any institution in New England. That's pretty neat. You were beating MIT by at least a year. The challenge? To design and build a satellite capable of traveling around and possibly landing on the moon. Not your typical satellite. A PICO or Cube Satellite, CubeSat for short. So this is the basic structure of the CubeSat. It's made of aluminum um, and it's a 10 centimeter cube, four inches. A teeny little thing. What are the LED indications? So Working together, four right. Vermont schools hope to make history by sending the first CubeSat ever into lunar orbit. We're just in the beginning of this process of being able to take satellites of this size and going beyond Earth orbit. The project that we're proposing, you know, what we're working towards would be the first CubeSat to go to the moon, certainly the first under its own propulsion. We're all kind of working on different aspects right now and for something like this to actually be pulled off on a grand scale, it is going to need a whole bunch of different components. Among the students and faculty involved in Vermont's voyage into space is a shared sense of excitement and opportunity. For many, this type of work is an unexpected first. And I actually was never involved in this kind of research, in space research, and then all of a sudden I have a whole new career, you know, starting at age 60. So. 